moving to the Palm Desert area, what do you need to know about moving to Palm Desert? Stay tuned, let's find out. Hi, Brandy here, realtor in the Palm Springs area. I help people find, buy, and sell real estate, and I absolutely love it. Let's get started on the things you need to know before moving to Palm Desert. Palm Desert is a great place to live. In fact, it's really easy to live here. With sunshine 350 days a year, beautiful mountain views in all directions, and year-round warm weather, great restaurants, shopping, great medical facilities, golf, tennis, hiking, and all the things to do all the time. It's hard to find a better place to live. Palm Desert offers a desirable lifestyle. If you're thinking about living here full-time, part-time, or retiring here, you can really get a lot more for your money here than many other California cities. Affordability is one of the bright spots about living here in the nine cities of the Coachella Valley. Our costs are way less than San Francisco, Los Angeles, Orange County, and San Diego. The weather here in Palm Desert is a big draw to the area. However, it's not always hot. We do actually have distinct seasons, and depending on where you live in the Coachella Valley, the weather can vary also. We don't get much rain here, just about five and a half inches annually, and we usually get that rain in just about 15 days. Normally, the weather is dry and sunny, which is why people love living here. It does get hot here in the summer. The warmest months are usually July and August, but it can also be very hot in June and usually the first part of summer. Temperatures in the daytime are almost always above 100 degrees and can get as high as 120 degrees. We locals usually stay inside in the afternoon and do most of our running around in the morning before it gets really hot. And remember, it's a dry heat, so it's not humid like many other parts of the country. Fall and spring temperatures are usually ideal in the 80s and 90s, and winter temperatures are usually in the 70s during the day and 50s at night. However, sun nights can get fairly cold with temperatures in the 40s. Some areas of the desert also get more wind than others. For example, the north end of Palm Springs, which is why you will see the wind turbines there. As mentioned earlier, the Palm Desert area is more affordable than many other California and US cities, even though California is one of the most expensive states to live in. The median home prices are generally lower in most of the nine Coachella Valley cities compared to California as a whole. Home and condo prices vary based on a lot of factors, of course. The average cost of living for groceries and healthcare are also lower here. I've done a whole video about the cost of living here. You may want to check it out for further information. The economy here is primarily, and not surprising, tourism. Tourism generates the most money and jobs. We always have something going on, which is why tourism generates over $7 billion annually here in the Coachella Valley. We have numerous events and festivals, including the American Express PGA Golf Tournament, the LPGA ANA Inspiration Golf Tournament, the BNB Paribas Tennis Event at the Indian Wells Tennis Gardens, the Stagecoach and Coachella Valley Music Festivals, art festivals, and numerous other events taking place year-round. There are a variety of places to live here in the Coachella Valley, and you'll most likely be able to find a place that fits your budget and lifestyle. From mid-century modern homes, which the area is well known for, to Spanish and Mediterranean style homes, to contemporary. You can find just about all types and styles of homes and condos here. And if you were wondering when is the best time of year to buy a home here, activity remains strong throughout the year. In fact, in the past few years, more homes and condos have been sold in the summer months than the winter months. One question that comes up about buying a home here is what is lease land? Parts of Palm Springs, Cathedral City, and Rancho Mirage are on leased land. That is land owned by members of the Agua Caliente Indians, the original inhabitants of the area. This goes all the way back to 1876, where the Pacific Railroad laid the first railroad tracks here. The government gave the railroad a checkerboard of every square mile of land for 10 miles on either side of the railroad right of way. The members of the Agua Caliente tribe got the non-Pacific Railroad squares. So today, some of the area's most popular neighborhoods are on Indian lease land. If you're thinking about buying, you need to check out this further. Other common questions include how windy is it? We experience wind all across the Coachella Valley. Certain times of the year are windier than others. The windiest time is usually by the end of the summer and late spring. What about drought? Droughts here in the desert are a fact of life, and there does seem to be a consistent cycle of overall weather conditions. And yes, we do have earthquakes here. Another question we get asked is, is it dead in the summertime? Not anymore. The Coachella Valley population has increased and we are really a year round community. In the summer, when it's hot, as mentioned earlier, you do most of your outdoor activities in the morning and the summer evenings are amazing. And remember, that's why we have swimming pools. Another question is, is it boring living here? 
The answer really is you can be as bored or active as you like in Palm Desert. There is something going on all year round, as mentioned before. Tourism is the largest part of our economy. Besides the events we mentioned earlier, we have the Palm Springs International Film Festival, Modernism Week, the White Party, Biker Weekend, Tour to Palm Desert, Splash House, Gay Pride. It's really hard to keep up with everything that's going on. We also have one of the best small art museums in the country, plus all of the outdoor activities, including hiking, golfing, pickleball, tennis, horseback riding, and of course, swimming. Palm Desert area is a world-class destination for a reason. People do really love living here, and the relaxed lifestyle is really affordable compared to many other areas. Be sure to check out my other video about the pros and cons of living here. If you have questions about living in the Palm Desert area, please call, email, or text me. If you're thinking about moving to the Palm Springs area, buying or selling a home here, be sure to get in touch with me. I want to make your experience as smooth as possible. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and leave me a comment and share with a friend who's looking for a home here in the Palm Springs area. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on my next video.